gonna take this tractor here down yonder to get some crystals. You wanna come along? Woohoo! So I'm out here at Emerald Village and over here they have a place where you can go mining. You can do rough mining or they will give you a bucket. You can fill it up pretty much uh, to, you know, like a 20 buck, $20 bucket or $10 bucket, $20 bucket, $30 bucket. The bigger the bucket, the more expensive it is. Uh, we were gonna do the mining today, the rough mining, but from what she told me, uh, it's up on Crabtree. There isn't really much to dig through. They do have black tourmaline and a few other types of crystals, but she said it's really been picked through. I mean, this place has been here for hundreds of years, so I can see why you know that would happen. I'm gonna head over to Little Switzerland and see what we can find in that little town there. Looks like a pretty interesting place. Uh, yeah, let's go on an adventure today. here at Little Switzerland. It's in the mountains of North Carolina, not too far from Banner Elk. Well, it's about an hour from Banner Elk, uh, close to Newland. And the campground I'm staying at, Bear Den Campground. It's about 15, 20 minutes from there. So I've never been to this little place. It's tucked away in the mountains of North Carolina. As you can see, it's really windy up here. It's probably about 40, 48 degrees today. And uh, so yeah, let's go check out Little Switzerland, see what it's about. And if you've been here before, leave a comment below. Have you been to Little Switzerland in North Carolina? Let's see what kind of cool things we can find. Right behind me is where you would check in if you were staying here at Little Switzerland. Yes, this is what Switzerland looks like. That's why they call it Little Switzerland. Or maybe somebody that was from Switzerland moved here and then put this you know, the style houses and stuff here. Uh, right ahead here on this walkway is where you can see the overlook on the mountains. plus travel, so that pretty much sums it up for me. Bethany and travel are in love, because we have a heart. So there must be an, a doppelganger or somebody that is like me, with the same name, that likes the same stuff. In little Switzerland, of all places. Never know what you're gonna bump into. You feel so Dark chocolate? No. No. Okay. They're all made with dairy. They look so good. <laughs> I wish I could try one, but I can't do dairy at all. Okay, I'm gonna try the. I have to try the Bigfoot. Okay. Would you like a cup or a cone? Uh, I'll do a cone. Which? So this is the Bigfoot ice cream, and it's all vegan. So I was able to have a treat today. I haven't had any treats on this trip. It's just in a little corner. Because I'm being good. 
chefs up here with the food. They had um, Bigfoot tracks and cookie dough. And it's all made locally here. Very, very freaking good. So if you're here in little Switzerland and you want a vegan option, you got this right here. It's super cold out here. I actually wanted like a hot coffee or hot cocoa, but I ended up getting a vegan ice cream instead and I'm freezing. It's like, I don't know, 48 degrees out here. And uh, I don't care. This ice cream is so good. I'm just gonna suffer through the cold. How's your day going? Okay, so this is Little, little Switzerland Inn. Thank you. You're so welcome. Anything about me, you know, I don't eat any meat products. And they do have a Tuscan white bean vegan stew. And considering I just had an ice cream and I'm cold, I'm gonna probably get that. And then bring it home tonight and eat it later or tomorrow for breakfast. I think I'll eat the whole thing tonight. I don't know. I probably won't be able to eat it for breakfast because there's not much, but dang, is it good. It'd be my one meal of the day. How's yours? Mmm, delicious, authentic. What'd you get? Oh, look at all that cheese. Oh, it's not bad. He wants to hold my hand. <laughs> lady in that store that Bigfoot exists on the East Coast too. They have a Bigfoot festival every year here in North Carolina somewhere so hey maybe I'll find Bigfoot while I'm out here. I hope I do. So I am heading out of Little Switzerland. I really enjoyed the pub that they have over here. The little restaurants, the little ice cream shop was amazing. Yeah great place overall so if you're staying in North Carolina or you're coming up into the mountains definitely come check out Little Switzerland. It's adorable and uh, definitely has some cool things to offer. So I am heading back now to the campground. I will be vlogging while I'm up here in North Carolina. Make sure to follow along, subscribe if you want to see all the little adventures I go on and what I get into because I like to get into some things but I appreciate your support and your likes and your comments and all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Peace.